Hi guys, I'm Kesha. Welcome to the channel, to the Wonderland. It is a coffee time, so grab your mugs for this top five. And today it is top five Wednesdays. If you don't know what that is, there is a Goodreads group that I'm gonna link down below for you guys, as well as the channel from the creator of this group. Basically every month you get a topic for every Wednesday and you can make your own top five. So today's top five was five beautiful covers. So since there are so many awesome covers and I could pick very expected things from me like Harry Potter books or Stephen King books and things like that, I just decided to make it a little bit more specific. So I decided to pick five cover buys from 2018. So these are covers that I saw and I knew I wanted the book before I knew what the book was even about. And then I actually liked the topic of the book so I ended up purchasing them. But the first thing that really drew me to those books were the covers. So this is my top 5 beautiful cover buys from 2018. Let's start with The Light Tree by Frances Hardridge and Chris Riddle and this is the illustrated edition and when I saw it scrolling on my Amazon I was like wait hold on a second that cover is gorgeous I need that book here is a little close-up of the cover so that you can check it out but it is absolutely stunning and even the spine it's just beautiful so we follow the story of Faith and she's a young girl that is really obsessed with science and she really loves science and she finds some old journals from her dad and in those journals she figures out that there is a tree that it's called the lie tree and basically if you tell the tree a lie it will tell you a truth back. Now I bought this early in the year and I still have not read this shame on me but this is what happens with most cover buys you just buy them because they're pretty and you need them and you grab them and and the story is also great but i still haven't got to it but anyways this is my pick number one for top beautiful cover buys next we have wand by cindy pond and it is absolutely stunning i know the second book is already out and i don't have that one yet but to be honest i also have not read this one yet when i saw this cover and i do love science fiction i knew that i had to grab this book but I also really love the story of this book. It is a futuristic world in which rich people can buy their way out of debt, so to say, because they can, you know, buy their way out of sicknesses and things like that. So basically, if you're rich, you don't die. And so there is, I guess, a group of people that try to fight against it. Like I said, I still have not read this, but this sounded super interesting and the cover is stunning. And so I picked it up. In number three, we have a book that I have mentioned a couple of times already in this channel, but I just, I just cannot get enough of this cover. I just can't. And that is My Best Friend's Exorcism by Grady Hendrix. Now, let me give you another close-up to this cover because it is just absolutely amazing and stunning. And me being an 80s girl, I was born in the 80s and I love 80s and 90s horror, so this cover is everything. This just takes me back to all of those years that I was watching all the horror movies that I can get my hands on all back on the 90s and I just I just love this cover so much. So I really fell in love with this book because of the cover, let's be honest, because the hardcover edition it's not like this and that one did not attract me. However, also the story is cool because it is about some uh, best friends that go skinny dipping and when they go out of the water, one of them starts acting weird. I haven't done any more research of what this book is about because I want to go into it without knowing too much. And it is one of the books that I'm going to be reading over Halloween. Then we have One Past Midnight by Jessica Shavington and I picked this one up because I just thought it was very pretty. I thought it was simple but beautiful. So let me show you the cover as well in a close-up. But then when I read the plot of the book, I was like, I need this book because it is about a girl that is living two lives at the same time. The deal here is that every 24 hours, she shifts into the other life and so on and so forth. So every 24 hours, she changes from one life to the other one. Still have not read it, but I'm dying to read it. It's probably not gonna happen this year because we are getting closer to the end of the year and I have so many other books that I still gotta read but I am not regretting at all getting this book because it's beautiful and it sounds fantastic. If you already read this book, please let me know down below if it's any good. Then I have an extremely cover buy because this is Furthermore by Tahara Mafi and when I picked this book up, all I knew was that people loved the book and the cover was pretty. 
but that's about it. I, I, I didn't know what it was about at all. I'm pretty sure everybody knows how this cover looks like because uh, there's been a lot of talk about it in the booktube community but let me show it to you guys it is just so gorgeous all I know about the book so far is that it's about magic and about a girl whose father goes missing and she decides that she's going to investigate and try to find him that's all I know and that's enough because it seems to be a nice cute magical adventure so I am down for it but like I said at the moment of the purchase I had no idea what this was about I just thought the cover was just gorgeous and I heard only good things about the book so I thought it was a safe buy and I went ahead and purchased it all right you guys so these are my five beautiful cover buys from 2018 let me know down below if you read any of these books and what you thought about them give the video a thumbs up for support subscribe to the channel all my other social media is listed down below for you guys and hope to see you all in the next coffee time bye